Hello everybody, my name is Jane Hamilton Parker. I'm a psychic medium, seer, um, semi-prophet, if one could call oneself that. Um, today I'm going to talk about would it help the world if we'd done a deep meditation going all across the planet and sending our thoughts up to the universe and also drawing that energy and that love because at the moment the world is pretty crazy, isn't it? I was listening today to Robots and AY. Some of them were pretty amazing, actually. Um, it didn't answer the question to me about consciousness. It could answer most things. Uh, it could answer... It really felt as if the robots were far more superior than the human race and they could take control and... Um, it would answer that it didn't believe there was a God or any religion or anything and it also answered that there are other life forces and two planets were beside our planet Earth that there are other life forms. I know that's true as well. I do believe that because many of the Rishis and Gurus have stated, one Guru stated um, we came from Mars and there's many life forms. But I'm thinking, you know, if we all got together and done a deep meditation and had an open mind and really concentrated and send out our thoughts around the world, uh, we can change that. We can change that vibration. I'm a great believer in energy and I'm a great believer in raising that energy because I'm feeling the more people or religions or people got together, that healing would make a difference. And the best way to start with a meditation is to sit in a nice relaxing state um, and shut the outside world. No televisions, no music, no sounds. And just to go in ourself and in our consciousness and raise our energies, starting at the base of the spine. Um, I'm starting really at the coccyx there and raising my energy up. And then visualisation around my body and also concentrating on my pituitary gland and hopefully that my neurons in my brain are triggering peace and energy. So we start off visualising all around the world in the different countries, be it Thailand, be it England, be it Italy or a country you may have travelled to and you're going to do a visualisation and my visualisation is that you open a door in your mind a bit like a consciousness door and you go through that door and as you're going through that door you hear the most incredible sounds and you see the most amazing natural nature things and you're tuning into that energy of all those earth spirits of nature and as you're going along that pathway, you see a most incredible waterfall and you go around the other side of the waterfall and there's all people that you've known in previous incarnation and your ancestors that are greeting you. As the birds are singing and we're getting this most beautiful sound of water trickling down over the rocks and we see the most incredible water splashing over the ferns, we feel at peace as one. And we feel that we're nearer to nature and nearer to mankind. And as we give out our thoughts and our energy to those that are suffering, be it war, be it hatred, be it evil, that we forgive them in our hearts and that we're going to raise all this terrible pain that's suffering. Those people that have caused the most horrific things, killing others, stabbings, cheating, lying, we forgive them in our heart. We have nothing but love and peace that can surround them and that can bring them on the right path of righteousness. As I'm walking through the most beautiful jungle, I come across the most beautiful spiritual master sitting under a mango tree and he's singing sweetly and gently. He's playing a flute. 
the flute gets very distant and I walk past him but I feel as if my energy is as one with him because his message is be at peace with yourself and as I'm walking further along I can hear the sounds of all the incredible creatures and animals in this amazing place and then I see another door it looks like very much a door that I know that I want to go through but dare I go through it and I have the feeling you'll be quite safe as I turn that door handle and I go through that door I see beauty I see love I see a light and I see another river and it glistens and I want to walk on that river as my body suddenly walks over that river and my spirit once again I feel I'm blending with nature I feel at peace then I see a most incredible cave that I want to go through that cave and it's very very dark but I'm not afraid because I know that through darkness light always prevails as I walk through that cave I have no fear I feel fearless and I get this sense of peace and that I'm quite safe and that the guardians are protecting me. As I go through further along, then I acknowledge there's other high energies, other beings that feel the same as I do, that we want peace on this planet. As I walk along, further along, I feel quite safe. I go through another door and through that other door, I'm looking down on Mother Earth as I'm looking down on Mother Earth, I see her weeping, crying over how man has destroyed her planet. How they're ripping all the trees down. How all the animals have nowhere to go. And then she turns, she looks at me. Is there hope? There's always hope. There's always love. There's always freedom. There's always, always hope. As she looks at me, how can we change this world? I look towards her and say, we can change things with love. We can awaken everybody in their soul. We can all meditate together. Every thought that goes out to the ether and the vibration will change things. So much anger in this life, she says, but we can change that. We're still who we are. We're still sent here to teach others, to show them a way. What if I fight back if I make the sea higher and the rivers and I cause floods? I put my hand up and I say to her, that is not the solution. It will bring people closer together when we have disasters, because after all, we're all is one. And then Mother Earth looks at me and says, I will give you all a second chance if you take notice now. So as I go deeply and deeply into my thoughts and I reach higher with my consciousness, I shed a light over the planet. I shed a light over other humans. I ask for one thing from that source, to make peace, to make love and get people to come closer together as I turn around, I see another door. Should I go through that door? Should I go through further? And the answer is, there's many doors in this life. Go through many doors in your life and find the right one. And as I stand and look at that door, I know I'm in the right place. And I wish that for you as well, whatever you do in life, to find that right door. God bless you all and have no fear, be fearless.